Hi guys. So in the previous uh, couple of lectures we talked about Ito's formula for Brownian motion and Ito's formula for Ito's processes. Today let's consider a few examples. So let's assume that we have a probability space given by our sample space, a sigma algebra and a probability measure. Defined on this probability space we have a Brownian motion and we have an associated filtration. Okay. Let's also consider two adapted stochastic processes given by sigma of t and alpha of t. Okay. Let's further define a Ito's process given by x of t is equal to integral 0 to t of sigma of s dw of s plus integral 0 to t alpha of s minus half uh, sigma of s sigma square of s d of s okay so this basically is a Ito's process in differential terms we can write this Ito's process as dx of t is equal to sigma of t dw of t plus alpha of t minus half sigma square of t dt right and if you wanted to figure out what is the quadratic variation of our Ito's process we can do dx of t multiplied by dx of t and if we do that all dt dt terms would go to zero dw dt terms would also go to zero all we're going to be left with is sigma square t dw of t times dw of t which is nothing but sigma square dt because dwt dwt is equal to dt okay so this basically is one of the results to keep in mind now what I would like to do is I would like to define um, a stock process and the stock process is going to be given by st is equal to s0 e to the power of x of t where x of t is this Ito's process okay and s0 is basically the value of the stock at time 0 and basically it's a positive quantity so this we can if you look at this particular formula right here we can express this as a function of x and if we consider a function of x is equal to s0 e to the power of x if this was a this was a function of x then s of t basically can be written as function of x of t right function of x of t would be x replaced by x of t and we'll get s0 e to the power of x of t okay so now we basically have a function of a single argument okay and this argument basically has positive quadratic variation okay because it has a positive quadratic variation or a non-zero quadratic variation then we know that if we want to figure out what is the differential of this okay we need to expand using um, Taylor series and we need to consider the first order terms and the second order terms okay so let's do that let's apply our Ito's formula so before that let's basically consider what is f dash of x f dash of x in this case is going to be exactly same as f of x f double dash of x is also going to be okay so if we now want to figure out what is ds of t which is nothing but d f of x of t this is going to be given by what is the first order term is going to be given by f dash s0 e to the power of instead of x i'm going to write x of t now and I'll get dx of t, this is my first order term, plus half f double dash, which is s0, e x of t, dx of t times dx of t. All the other higher order terms are going to go to 0, right? Now we know that dx of t, dx of t is nothing but sigma square t dt. And instead of dx of t, we can use this. So let's simplify this. We can write this as s of 0. Sorry. Now, s0 times e of xt 
is nothing but s of t. So instead of this, we can write s t. And now dx of t, we can write this as sigma of t dw of t plus alpha of t minus half sigma square t dt plus half s of t sigma square t dt okay here basically again this becomes s of t and then dx dx we have uh, replaced this by sigma square t dt now what i can do is i can combine the terms that have dt okay so let's do that so this will basically become so d s of t will then become we have the first term it doesn't have any dt so we let's write that sigma of t s of t d w of t okay now this has dt so let's combine these two we'll get alpha of t minus half sigma square of t okay this has a st this has a st this has a plus half sigma square t this whole multiplied by s of t dt okay so this cancels out, this cancels out, and we are left with d s of t is equal to sigma of t, s of t, d w of t, plus t, s of t, d t. Okay? Now this basically, alpha of t is basically called the instantaneous mean rate of return okay and or this basically is called the drift term and sigma of t is basically called the volatility okay and we'll discuss this in a little bit more detail in just a moment so what i want to do is i want to first write down the 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 stock price again this st was equal to s0 times e of x of t okay and this can be written as xt basically was integral 0 to t sigma of s dw of s plus 0 to t alpha of s minus half sigma square of s ds right so now let's first consider a case where we have instead of this basically being a time variant let's consider alpha of s and sigma of s sigma of s and alpha of s to be constants okay if they are constants let me rewrite this equation s of t then basically becomes s0 times exponent 0 to t and so the f, sigma of s i'm going to just write sigma it's a constant dw of s plus zero of t minus half sigma square d of s we can simplify this further and we'll get this alpha the sigma we can take out of this integral and this would be, give us w of t okay plus this will alpha minus half sigma square times t so this might actually look a little familiar this basically means that when alpha and sigma are uh, constants then our stock price basically becomes a geometric uh, brownian motion and the distribution then of our stock price basically becomes log normal okay that this we've talked about um, you know four or five lectures back that this basically is our uh, uh, geometric round in motion and, uh, and under geometric round in motion our stock price basically has log normal distribution right so now what i would like to do is i would like to basically consider 
what happens to this when alpha is equal to zero okay so these were constants now basically let's assume that alpha is equal to zero let's look at the value of the stock the stock price then is going to be given by s zero we must wait t okay now I want to show you that this basically is a martingale. When alpha is equal to zero, this stock price is basically a martingale. Okay, so what is basically the martingale? 